YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Cool. Let's go. So, account review audit. No, that's not really an audit because my own account. So, you can't really call it an audit. But, yeah, it's finger just to do a little bit of review to see like where I am, you know, they want to count. And yeah, seeing where I am before 2.1, before Akira comes up. And she's going to change everything uh, for my account, hopefully. But I don't know. We'll see. Cool. So first, uh, let's just start with the easy stuff. Just go to warps. And let's see what we're cooking with for Acheron. Ah, uh, so not much really and i'm not on any pt as well nope but thankfully i do have these things 31 so that's something um anything else from this shop here i've only bought two two light cones ever i bought the bronia light cone and the jepard light cone uh because like i don't know like before like 1.6 i was of the mindset no before like before topaz because topaz is the first time i bought these special tickets because i ran out and i was very sad um well, yeah but before that i bought bronia's icon because i didn't have it and then jipars because i didn't have it and i thought it was really good and i do still think that it's really good for preservation but when after that since i now have I have Himiko, Clara, Bronia, Welt, and Jepard. I don't... Yeah, Chings doesn't do anything, and same with uh, Bylus, right? So now I'm just saving up for the pulls, basically, so I can pull more. Um, you know, I could get, like, S5 Bronia and Icon, but it's fine. Acheron will uh, solve that issue for me, but yeah. Uh, anything else? I buy these three things every day, uh, every month. So that's fine. Sometimes I do buy materials from here. Like for Black Swan, I bought the trace material for her because I needed it because I didn't pre farm. Because you couldn't pre farm, right? So I just to speed up the process a little bit. Never bought these things. I bought these two. It was a very unfortunate. Uh, and sad time uh, when, for the Kafka pulls. I ran out. I lost the 50-50. And um, yeah. To be honest, I never know how I ran out. Because. Like I didn't pull for Blade back then. And the Kafka was like. I didn't even pull for Locha either. So I don't know what, what happened. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but somehow I ran out. And I need to buy all these two. Because obviously you need to. I buy this. Every month. Uh, just to help me out a little bit. On the standard, I've already gotten the free 5 star. I picked Himeko for that. Uh, it's just because that's the only one that they have. And I want to I want, I want, want to have more characters than... Let's say like an E1 Brony or something like that, right? Because I'm still on E0 Brony. Uh, so yeah, for light cones, I have pulled for light cones. Let me see if it shows up here. I pulled for... Uh, black swans or and for kafkas that's it um oh yeah <laughs> and i lost that as well to black swan the fifth the 75 25 i was ecstatic cool so that's that situation looking like so i the akron pulls are gonna i'm gonna win a 50 50 that's what i'm basically hoping on otherwise it's it's not great, but yeah. Cool, so that's the warp stuff. The battle pass. I buy it and I finish it. I think like I haven't bought like the first like two or three, something like that. But ever since then I bought it. Just because it's really helpful. Like, like you get all of these resources, right? I do like to overworld farm. And like do similar to the universe, but... Not every day. So I buy this instead. For that um events i've done everything everything we can do right now moc sim universe golden gears i finished everything other than these things just because there's such a time waste and sink and i don't want to do that i may try to get this one i i shouldn't be too hard to just get another path uh, to get 100k 
But I don't know, I'm probably not gonna go for these other ones. Uh, not worth it for what you get. Cool. And it's the same for Swarm Universe. I finished everything in that. I know Prison Break. I finished that. I think I picked. I don't know. I don't remember what I picked for this. Maybe. Yeah, I literally don't remember. This thing. Obviously completed. On like the first day. I do all of these trials. Just to get every resource that I can. The Dream Jewel TV. It's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. They had added some new things in that. Oh yeah, that's finished. And then obviously all of the old events have been completed when they came out. Um, cool, so that's that. Missions, obviously there's nothing here. There's the daily dive I'm done yet. Uh, before we go into here, let's go into mm, the backpack. Let's see. So currently, I'm saving... I did some pre for Acheron, so I have the level up materials, I have these things, and then I have a couple of these things to try. This is a 10-10-10, but it's pretty close. Um, so yeah, that's going to be that. These are my balls right now. Uh, kind of running out, and I'm honestly kind of scared to run out, but what can you do? Um, like on XP, never farm for this. Uh, character XP, never farm for this. Um... What can you farm for that? I haven't farmed for um, nothing really. This is just from all the overworld farming that I've done. And as you can see, I've done more before Penacony than I do now. But there you go. Uh, the weeklies, Echoes of War, I do them every week. So I'm basically never going to run out of those. That's all fine. Um, cool, that's this tab. And these are my light cones. Currently, I'm, I'm going to show this a little bit later, but currently, I'm one week off. So today's Sunday, so tomorrow, I can finish off Herta's store, which is exciting. Can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, Himeko's Lycon leveled up. Black Swans, Kafka's. You can, I think you can tell what's going on here, but yeah. What's at uh, S2? What can you do? Uh, Jepard's at S2. Actually, I really want to get this to S5. It's like... If I ever lose like 50-50s to Lycon, this is the Lycon that I want to... Well, I'm joking. I want to lose it to Bronyas, but this wouldn't be bad either. If I get this to S5, Jepard is unkillable, which is funny. Uh, Clara's. This was, this was actually like right at the beginning, and it helped me uh, a little bit uh, at the beginning. But ever since then, I haven't really used it because it's kind of like only good on Clara. And I'm, my Clara is uh, in shambles right now, let's say. But then I've leveled up all of these light cones. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, you know, mostly the ones that you'd expect me to level up. Uh, that you'd expect anyone to level up. Uh, I'm planning, I want to level this up for Mono Quantum. Uh, what other light cone do I want to level up next? Um, maybe a second dance dance dance? You know, there was the whole like Gacha Spaka Mr. Pokey thing on it. Uh, double dust and stance. So maybe I could test that out. I don't know. But for now, I'm not planning to. Uh, too many resources into that. Uh, maybe this one? But I don't use... I do need to raise another radiation card because I found that, especially in the last Pure Fiction, and was using Herta, Himekon, Jin Yuan. And I only have two radiation icons. This one and Breakfast. So, yeah, we need to level up another one. Um, let's see, maybe this one, but I don't use destruction characters, I only have Jing Liu uh, for that. Um, but yeah, I would say the, like, the normal, the, like, really good light cons are leveled up, right? I'm also going really lucky uh, with what I've pulled, right? So, for example, I pulled on Kafka's light con banner, right? And in that you had uh, Samples and Lucas, I think? I don't remember what icons were on that, but I remember samples, so that's why I managed to get to S5. And then on Black Sun's banner, there was Dance Dance Dance, so that's why I managed to get this, and then S3 as well. Uh, so yeah, kind of like strategic pulling, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, cool, so that's all of that. Nothing too crazy there. Then Relics, we're going to get into that when we get into the characters. As you can see, I've like pulled, I've tried everything. Uh, like farming for any, anything and everything, basically. Uh, cool. 
these are my materials. I am gonna need these for Acheron. So I'm currently I'm going to Yarilo 6 and killing and destroying all the barrels I can. Uh, to get those, because I don't know, because these things you can buy them from the general, but they cost 26k for 100 each, and that's too many credits because you can see I only have per million right now. Um, then consumables, sure, don't really use them. These things I've gone uh, in the golden hour and talked to everyone, changed their emotions, and all that, so I think I've gotten everything that I could from that. And then like all the quests, you know, all the cars and all that. And then uh, the memory bubble for Black Swan and all that. So I bought this as well. I got this Gold Unlimited token. Oh yeah, I finished the gacha machine thing. I've got on the light command the uh, picture thing. So that's cool. And then this one I'm looking at, self the resin. Um, and self so modern resin is kind of weird. Because I'm always scared to use it, so I don't know if when I, when I when should I use it. Cool, so that's all of that. Uh, then fuel. So basically, the way that I think about fuel is I just use it for farming relics, right? So so, so like the natural treasure of power, I put them in trace materials and all of these things, right? Well, trace materials basically. Uh, that's and then fuel. Every fuel that we've gotten so far, I use them in relics. Uh, because if I look in my achievements, I don't remember which one shows the like the cavern pools. Yeah, caverns of coverage. I'm only at 511, right? Which is actually like kind of standard from what I've seen, like between 500 and 600, for someone that doesn't like stamina refresh. Um, well, so that's that, and then, uh, uh, yeah, that's my philosophy on fuel, basically. I just use fuel for farming relics, and that's it, because I don't really care about relics. It's just because there's, like, the whole RNG and stuff involved, and I'd rather just level up traces, which is just guaranteed damage, right? Uh, cool. Plus, like, currently, I'm, like, happy with the relics I have. You'll see. Um... Cool. Another thing that I like to do that, you know, I, I imagine people don't really talk about is I like to sort my friends lists like this, right? And if I see someone like this guy that's been two days logged in, then I remove him and then I just add someone else. Uh, my first thing on this is if it's someone that plays every day, then there's a higher chance that that person that plays every day that's going to use your character. So you're going to get more money. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know, just like min maxing friend money, I guess. Um, anything else I want to talk about here before we move on to anything else? Um, no, I don't think so. Cool. So, before we go into the characters and relics and all that, let's go into the data bank first. I thought I'd just check out everything. Right? So, Lycons, again, nothing too crazy here. You've already seen what I have. And what I don't have, which is every other legendary icon, right? Oh yeah, and these things as well. Oh, these are from the battle pass. Uh, that's cool. So there was a time that like I didn't have one of these light cones or star light cones for a really, a really long time, but I eventually got all of them. Obviously, uh, it's been nearly a year. You know, factions and new creatures. I've killed everything, all the relics, and the characters. As you can see what I have, nothing too crazy going on, all looking good, and these are the characters I skipped. Um, so, the thing that, you know, may, may shock people is I've missed Locha and Hope, right? So basically that means that I don't really have a sustain. Uh, you know, other than the fact that I've missed, you know, Dunhung or Blade and Argenti, which are really good DPS, sorry. Uh, but... Again, you need to pick and choose in some cases. But yeah, this is sustains. Uh, my philosophy is that sustains are lame. And these two characters are especially lame. You know, it feels like someone like Kafka or Himeko or something that was in a bunch then maybe, you know. But, or preservation. But they're not, so 
I just skipped basically. Um, you know, I didn't end up getting Fushuan uh, really early. I'm gonna show uh, a screenshot of my pulling history just so you guys can see. I'll probably put it, pull it over right now uh, in the post editing section. Uh, cool. So, yeah, preserve, preservation. Uh, uh, my only sustains are basically just Fushuan and Bailu. Bailu is going to be a big surprise on this account. And it's kind of unfortunate I mean, don't make people talk about her, but she's really good in my opinion. So, yeah. Cool. So, that's basically what it looks like here. Let's we'll go through the filters just so you guys can see. Destruction. Only Jing Liu. All the hunt ones. Erudition, not genty. Harmony. Um, yeah, all of them, because I mean, if you don't have all the harmony characters, then what are you doing? Like, we need a game. Uh, Inherity, just because dot. And Silver Wars is really unique. And at the time of 1.1, because that's when I got her, you know, she was really unique. She done, she borrowed the whole like weakness. Uh, implant thing, which again, you need at the beginning. Well, you don't need it, but it was really helpful. Um, so yeah, she was really good. And then all of the other ones preservation, all of them, abundance, only the non limited ones. Cool. So that's what we're cooking with there. So um, now, characters. Let's go into this. So, I'm just going to go from left to right into everyone I have right now. So, Bailu, she was, um, I think like my first, or like, like my second or third five star that I've got on this account. And this may be also like, not really like, maybe like nostalgia as well, but just, you know, maybe I got used to her, right? So I know how she works like fully. Uh, you know, I mean, she's not hard to, like, use necessarily, but it's just, I'm happy with Bailu, basically. Uh, so that's why I didn't put for any other sustainer. So, on Bailu, what I currently have is kind of like these stats, you know, a lot of HP, but most importantly, like, a lot of speed as well. Um, I use this like on honor, usually, because the thing is, I don't need the energy region and I don't need the healing he's already doing all of that so I just do this just for an insane amount of energy I just think that's worth it like why not right uh traces <laughs> max out again by lumain and all that cool relics I uh, usually look like this right so force four piece messenger and then two piece a fleet of the ageless if I'm using her with dot if I'm using her with a crit DPS, then I'm gonna switch on broken kill. And I can easily get uh, over 30% effect rest for that. So it's all good. Eidolons, E0, so no Crystal Bailu yet. Uh, and hopefully, never, because I don't really care about these Eidolons. Other than E6, E6 sounds sick, but oh, that's gonna be like in four years from now. Cool, next, Black Swan. This is how she's gonna look like all the time. I don't really change around her pieces too much. Her own light cone. Again, it's just really good. And this, it was kind of just mostly this art. That's what got me. So there you go. Traces maxed out. Of course. Like, how could I not? Relics, four piece prisoner, and then two piece pan cosmic commercial enterprise. Uh, a little bit of a weird one, but basically, what when I just. When I first created like the dot team, basically like after Kafka came out, uh, you know, everyone's saying that, you know, use Pan Cosmic. Um, because the other option was to use Hertha Space Station, right? But, you know, I wanted the best for my dot team. So I started farming Pan Cosmic. Um, and, you know, I've, it's not great. It's nothing crazy. Uh, these relics. Again, nothing amazing. Wow. This is crazy, but again, it's just speed. 
and then more speed here with crit damage. Uh, there goes my crit damage piece, I guess. But yeah. And your effect hit rate. It's, yeah, it's usually around 100 or like 110. I can get a little bit higher if I throw some pieces around. Uh, but again, I don't really care. If you're going to see the MOC video I'm going to release, he does enough damage. I don't need anything more. Eidolons E0. I don't pull for Eidolons or proper characters. Cool, that's about it. So yeah, this is kind of like... My thing is, for to have her go before Kafka so she can get her dots off. Uh, and start stacking that, basically. So yeah, she's... Most of the time she's going to be above Kafka. I try to, anyway. So talking about Kafka, let's uh, see here. So yeah, this is her stats. Her own icon, it's really good. I like it. Obviously maxed out. Trace is maxed out, obviously. I think she was my first 10, 10, 10, and 6 on the basic. Then relics again. Prisoner and Pan Cosmic. Uh, some okay pieces here, nothing too crazy, but... I did get lucky with some of these prisoner pieces and I got like a bunch of speed on them. So thankfully I do have that going for me. Um, I don't know, chest, I, I, the chest pieces are horrible. And the boots, I don't want to look at those. But yeah, um, so that's cool. Eidolons, zero. And that's that. Cool, now the latest edition, which is not the best edition. Or the most wanted addition is a uh, sparkle. So uh, basically, I go brainwashed. So yeah, there you go. And I lost the fifty-fifty, and then I kept going. Uh, that's the story, basically. So yeah, she's maxed out. Light cone. I usually have her like on dance, 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 uh, or this one, the carve the moon with the clouds. Uh, no, actually, most of the time I have a Bronya like on because I kind of don't use them together that much. Again, because I just rather use dot like a crit DPS on one side and then a dot on the other side. Uh, so yeah, don't really have space for Bronya anymore these days. But yeah, Trace is maxed out. Uh, Relics. She's on four piece messenger. Uh, again, try to get my speed on her and then. She's gonna be with crit DPS all the time, so she is gonna have broken kill on her. So like one of these. Uh, most likely these one of these two defense uh, HP ones, and then obviously an ER rope. Whatever it is, probably like the speed one. Because he wants speed on. Sparkle. Yeah, crit damage chest, speed boots. You know, try to get like as much speed arms as I can, like these ones. And then kind of same for the helmet, to just try to get the speed ones. Probably this one. But yeah. So let me like just show that quickly. So let's try this. And I have any speed here? Nope. Oh yeah, I'm using a crit damage one. And I'm just using the speed boost because they have crit damage on them. I don't think if any one else has it. Nope. Cool, and then broken kill. Uh, let's just use... Like this defense one, why not? And then for the rope, let's use this speed one. Cool. So my spark will look something like this, and then if I put... Uh, usually Bronya's like on... Oops. It's gonna look something like this. So, nothing too crazy, but... Yeah, that's about it. E0. And then all of that. Cool. Yeah, it was a mistake. Because now I'm kind of like shaking in my boots, not gonna lie. MC. So. I like him. Uh, fire MC a lot. Uh, for the fire break. So I kind of run him like as a mix of uh, like break and, you know, like full defense basically. But. I kind of like decommission him because I have others that just do the job a lot better. Um, so yeah, and especially since getting Himeko, I don't need 
like fire break because she's gonna be my fire break so yeah he's been kind of gone from my account for like like two or three months or at least um uh, something like that like i think i still use them in 1.5 during the fixed roll garden but then after that in 1.6 i haven't been using him but yeah so it's basically nothing then for Shuan, i play with the jupar icon for the omega defense then traces max out on the ulti this doesn't do anything so you don't need to level it up and then here we are running usually something like this sure so just above one three four speed and then kind of like these stats so like it's usually around 7k yeah it's like the 7k hp and then like 2.0 Zero, like 2k 2.1 defense something like that i managed to roll a lot of defense on some of these pieces e0 because again i don't care about that cool next so yeah nothing else to say really she's op as fuck so she's good then Japart. so again um the only reason why i have Japart raised is just for simulated universe swarm and golden gears because fushuan just doesn't it's not enough for that his shields are way better for that so yeah, I play him like this with these traces. Again, ultimate is the only one that I need to raise. And then I recently leveled him up to 80, so I haven't had a chance to level these up yet. But sometime in the future. And then I think this is his build with... Um, usually I play him with Dot uh, in Golden Gears and, and uh, Swarm. So again, either Fleet one Dot or... Broken kill, one crit, right? Crit DPS. So I was gonna look for my defense one. So I have this. And then something like... And then one of these ER ropes. It doesn't really matter. Uh, something like that. Cool. And I think these are the right ones. Yep. Cool. So it's gonna look something like this, right? 3.7 defense, 4.5k health. And the speed is kinda lacking. Wait. I, mean, I usually have him above 134. So I think I give him this rope instead, which gives gets him above 134. So yeah. Cool. Then Eidolons, E0, got lucky. Again, I've kinda whenever I lose 50-50, I just got a new character instead of getting Eidolons, which is not many people could say that, but yeah. Um, that's sick. Then, Silverwolf. Again, she was really unique. I thought, you know, the weakness in plan was cool. So I pulled for her, basically. The Event Lycon, really good. Traces, 8, 8, 9. I'm planning to raise her up to 10, 10, 10, so I can use her with Acheron. Relics, uh, 4 piece Genius, and then 2 piece Panacone, because I, I use her in a Mono Quantum. So, yeah. So here we have Quantum bo Damage Boost. I don't really know why I should have something else probably, but there you go. An ER rope. Uh, I don't play as Break or like Crit. I just play as like full support basically. So, um, Speed Boots. Pretty good. Effect Resin, Effective Trait. Kind of hoping that it would have hit that, but they didn't hit attack instead. Uh, then effect hit three chest piece with whatever that is, and then hands with again whatever that is, nothing crazy there. And then this piece with some speed on it. So yeah, um, not great, but again, she's just there for the debuffs. Um, yeah, one three four speed. So that's all good. E0. Yeah, nothing else to say, really. Just use your mono quantum. Now, Ruan May. She's the game changer. She changed everything. Uh, yeah, this is kind of how it looks like. Uh, most of the time. A bunch of HP, a bunch of speed. I don't run the slow Ruan May. Because I don't... I don't know. I haven't really tried. I could. Uh, trust me, there's... There are ways for me to run slow Ruan May, unfortunately. But yeah. So we run main, I just usually run with Dot, so I have her on Fleetless. Uh, 
this one, 20% break effect, really good. And then I had a rope with break, I swear. Nope. So I run on the speed one, usually. Then the speed boots with a ton of a break, break effect on it. Um, like one of these chess pieces, like this one that has some break effect on it, probably. Yep. Then the hand, this one has another 20%, 18%, I should say, right? And then the helmet, do I have a break effect one? Oh, so I just run the speed one. Um, cool. So usually that and easier. And not like on, I have S3 memories of the past, which is unlucky. Early one S5, I think that'll be sick, but oh well. But yeah, for the break effect, we're looking at something like this, like 150. And then with the traces, with one of these ones. And this one gives 20%. I think that gives it to her, right? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I remember just people saying to get like 160. So yeah, that's why I tried. And I did that on Messenger, so I don't need to run like the new set. I was, I am working on that since I'm farming for the debuff set. But... Um, I haven't really had the chance to look and see what I've actually got. I've just saved like the ones that looked good at the time, but I haven't had a closer look to like switch her over to the break effect set because I don't think I need to right now. And then Bronya, uh, basically Bronya just uses everything that Sparkle uses, uh, which is unf cause that's another main reason why I can't use them on the same team because they use the same things. Um, by um basically whatever sparkle had she can wear them as well and she used to wear them before sparkle um other things but bronya only use it with jingliu right uh, otherwise sparkle i use it with everyone else so yeah that's about it really um yeah whatever uh bronya was uh, whatever sparkle was running she's gonna run e0 trace is maxed out and yeah, that's about it. Then there's this guy. Jingyu, uh, let me put this on. So at least it looks like he has some stats. Um, let me change his pieces around to like his actual ones. Uh, no, that's what he has usually. Yep. Yep. Obviously, I could change between Topaz and Jingyuan. So actually, let's do that. Let's, let's see actually how much I can get out of them. Because I don't really use Jingyuan with Sparkle, with uh, Topaz. So let's see what we're cooking with here. Uh, okay. And then 5 crit rate. And then this is okay and then the rope is probably where's that one eight percent yep so let's see what we have here now so not bad but again not great either especially so with the traces is that 888 because i don't really use i want to use them at the beginning really um he gets 10 percent, so he's at 76 which is okay um, but yeah, full upset, Inner Sasoto, E0. <sighs> he's, he's annoying, Jingyuan. But I still like him. Yeah, the reason why I pulled him is just because I just thought the, the, in the story was really cool. And at the time, I wasn't really grasping the whole, like, PT system and, like, how that whole thing works, right? So I was just, like, pulling everything, basically, that I had. Whenever a new character came out, uh, I kind of learned that kind of like when Kafka came out and Blade and stuff like that, and like in 1.3 basically, no 1.2. Uh, but before that, I wasn't really grasping that concept too much. Uh, so I was just pulling for whatever, right? And I managed to get him like in like two, ten or twenty pulls, something like that. So that was cool. Then uh, Doctor Ratio. Now I usually run him with cruising 
in the stellar sky, just get a crit rate. And because Sorpril doesn't really do much in him, he looks like this, 888. He's on the debuff set with Inert Sal Soto, something like this. And then, again, I just change to this rope, because that's my best one. E0. And these are, this kind of how it looks like. It's okay, but like, if you see my MOC video, he was struggling with the damage. Um, now we're running with Topaz in the dual DPS team. Topaz is usually on Swordplay. Unfortunately, Swordplay is at the OS2 only, so it's not that great. 8, 9, 10. So I want to get this up to 10 as well. And this I'm just going to leave it at 8, because it doesn't really do much. But yeah, that's what I'm cooking up there. And let's change back Jing Yuan's pieces. Yep. Because with these pieces, it's actually looking okay. And so I have, right, so... Because I'm running Topaz with Doctor Ratio, I have something like this, right? So she's going to be on this 8% crit rate one, and he's going to be on the... on this 5% one uh, just because he's going to look like this now and then she's going to look like this so that's pretty good so yeah E0 obviously um, yeah this is how she usually looks like again this team struggles a little bit not going to lie and I'm just not willing to with the resources to make them better. So this is how they're gonna look like for now. They're still good, it's just they're not amazing. Um cool. And I just kinda pulled her just cause of you know you know what like you know what can you do? Um but yeah so this is this is how we started and then it actually turned out that she's okay. She's a pretty good character. Now I'm scared of this one. I don't. I don't even want to know if I do want to show this one honestly. But uh, let's see. So she's usually running cruising the stellar sea. Um, she's on eight eight eight. Kind of like after dot came out. Stila hasn't done anything i've tried to improve her here and there but kind of like no no chance basically so let's see uh we're running something like this yep ah uh, these 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 chess pieces i can't even look at them so if i want to be so i have this one right which is just the 30% crit rate and then there's this one which has crit damage has some crit rate on it but if I do that then it looks like this which to be honest with this it could be okay you know 50% crit rate something like that but she's not gonna crit basically so yeah, I usually run on the crit rate one which is bad I've tried but this is this is just what I get whenever I form quantum. Quantum is cursed for me. That, that's why I hate it. Um, and yeah, on uh, what's this thing called? Rutiland Arena. That's pretty good. And then I have the Rutiland Arena row, which like she and Jing Liu shares basically, because this one. I don't even know why, why I have that, but okay. Um. So, oh, you know what? That's not bad, actually. What was I smoking? I thought that, like, she's bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I had 140 crit damage. Huh, maybe I should play Sila more. But yeah, easier, of course. Of course, I, I have her because she was the first limited character, right? So, and she's cool. I really like her in the story and all, the, all that. Um, kind of wish, you know, we could go back to Belago, Belobog once again and do some more stuff there, but oh well. But yeah, she's a 
Apparently okay. Um, cool, now let's go to the game changer. Ching Liu. So let me get her stuff. So 10 traces on this like home max out because I don't have anything else. I do believe this one is better than Claro's Lycon. Uh, whenever it defeats an enemy or is hit. At the same time, the worst damage is better than 4%. Yeah, this is just kind of like talking about like the whole fall off thing, right? So I still think this is better. Um, cool, let me switch things around. So I run around the Hunter set. Because I'm... Um, Again, Quantum set is cursed for me, so I never farmed that. And this was good because I was just farming a little bit of Snow Hunter and uh, Eagle, right? So it's kind of win win. Okay, that and then this rope. Cool. So I run it like this usually. Um, now, I've also done it where I've run her on rainbow pieces, and I can get like 230 crit damage and a little bit more crit rate, um, but just for the sake of like making it easier to keep track of all the pieces, because you know, we don't have loadouts yet, um, just yeah, to make it easier for me to remember what's what, I just run on the 4 piece, uh, and the 4 piece gives crit damage a little bit, so... Not bad, right? Um, but yeah, so this kind of how she looks like. She has a lot more speed than Bronya. So what happens if she goes first, uh, then Bronya goes and then she comes back, right? So she can get like tons of attacks like that. Uh, but yeah, she's OP. Nothing else to say. It's Jingli, right? Um, she's going to be rerun in 2.1. So make sure to pick her up if you don't have her already. Um... I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm not sure what the tier lists are going to look like, but I'm pretty sure Jingli is still going to be right next to Acheron. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know for sure this, but E0 still. Then Clara. <sighs> yes. Um, 888, all of that, relics. Uh, let's try to get her looking as good as we can. Which is not gonna look great, but yeah. E1, so that's something. Um But yeah. I'm kinda coping with this one. Um Yeah, 71, 62. I don't know. I just spent like some trailblazer of power in the physical domain. And that's what came out basically. And at the time I thought this was good. Uh, so I don't know why I was smoking, but yeah. Uh I don't talk about her. Uh I don't wanna use her really that much either, so that's fine. Cool, then we have Natasha. So before links, I had no way to get rid of debuffs so basically i just built her just to get rid of debuffs basically just to go against kafka um because yeah in the simu simulated universe i know it sounds like crazy like you know doing the whole level 80 stuff um but yeah i she's been retired for a long time now uh so yeah i would have her on the on her like on because that's why this is also leveled up because i thought this was really good uh on her but yeah Nothing else to say there. Then sample. He's really good. Just build him. Um, I have his like on ADS5. Again, amazing. Traces, 888. Now his relics are kind of... Uh, they are kind of... I think I run this one. Yep. Something like that. Um, so again, four piece prisoner and then two piece space healing because um, 
basically I just gave black swans his pieces. So yeah, so I've had to like do some emergency uh planning basically or you know relic investment. Uh so yeah, I've got this. It's bad. Um I think I've switched this between Dan Hung and him. But again, I know he's Dan Hung, so he kind of just stays on sample. Um and yeah, this rope or Honestly, any of these ropes could work. This one has some effect rate rate on it, but I don't know, it's fine. I don't really pay attention to effect rate too much because it seems to be fine. If I was struggling, then I might be able to pay more attention to it, but I'm not, so that's fine. E6, that's really good. Then Ayla, S5 resolution, really good. Uh, Traces 888. I recently leveled up to 80, so that the chance to max her out. I know people saying to max this out to 12, but it's fine, basically. Um, now let me find. Like the good pieces for her, which is that. It depends between these two, so but I'm just gonna put this just to show off the speed that she can get. This effect rate one, a lot of defense effect res, all good there. And then the boots. Um, either these ones or the ones that Bailu is wearing doesn't really matter. Cool. And then she's usually running with uh, Jing Liu, so she's gonna run broken kill, right? So she's gonna have any of these uh it doesn't really matter but usually an hp one so probably this one and then the energy rope this speed one would affect it right on it um so yeah this is how she's usually looking like something like this uh but i haven't used her in the recent moc because i haven't used jingli because i didn't either so yeah so these are kind of the stats um Looking like, again, if you don't with Pala, do it. She's just really good. Um, but yeah. Then. Ting Yun. Um, level 80. This kind of how her stats would look like. Um... Uh, I have to see the relics because it looks like she's unequipped right now. So, Dance Dance Dance, level 80, S5. Really good icon for her, especially. Traces, not maxed, maxed out because, again, 4 star. I keep them at 888 because I don't care about them that much. And then, something like this, you know, or like with like two piece messenger, two piece one of like these attack pieces, something like that. Uh, but currently I'm running her like this and I was running her with dot so I probably had just like I don't know this maybe something like that and then the... this thing yep anyway let me check actually Yeah, it's definitely that one. Okay, these boots, they're like, okay. I don't know if this like 11.6 plus 40 is more than 12.9. I haven't done the mass on that, so I don't know. Then a chest piece. <sighs> okay, at the beginning of the game, People were saying you can run Ting Yun as a sub DPS, uh, which you can. Like her auto attacks can do like, you know, 20k, something like that, um, if she crits. So this is what I was kind of trying here. But yeah, because I kind of had her on a four piece musket here. But then I just went like, I gave up on that and I just wanted to sub stats as much as I could. So yeah, something like this something like this 
And yeah, and obviously I can make her faster, but I don't I haven't needed to. Um but that's fine. Yeah again if she's with crit, broken kill, if she's with dot on fleet. Ageless of the ageless. E6. Um but yeah. That's my thing here. Something like this usually. So that looks good. Hanya, um And I ain't gonna cap, but Honey is kinda useless. Um, I level her up to 75 so I can get the speed, the last speed trace. Um, I can get like 160 something speed on her. Um, but I just have other supports that just do better and more. So that's why she's not being used right now. And also, she's not E6. So maybe she was E6. Maybe this could do something, but. I don't know, E1 only right now. Yeah. I remember I wanted one copy for it, and I think I pulled like 50 times to get one copy. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know. You know. Uh, but yeah. Cool, then we have links. Um, what's there to say about links? Uh, just HP and speed. And uh, this like icon usually. Just so I can get like the debuff cleanse off as fast as I can. 888. She's level 70. I'm using her on the overworld farming team. So she's getting XP passively. Relics. She would usually look like... Something like this. And... I don't know. Something like this. So yeah, nothing too crazy, but... That's good enough. E3. It's been nice of like of the how many copies have been given us for free. Because on the initial banner when she came out, I remember who she was, maybe, I think it was. Uh I didn't I never got her. So yeah. So I had to wait until we go for free and then I got a bunch of copies. After that. Uh, but yeah, nothing too crazy there were links. Then look um I have him on good night sleep well, level 72, 888, and then relics, honestly, I, I should kind of like decommission him, because I don't really use him anymore, I used to, but yeah, he he's running break rope, so it's kind of like a break effect Luca, because I have a much of a break effect on this, and then the break effect thingy here like okay let's go with this one for example and then for the helmet this one and then i can get them to something like that right which is nothing crazy but i don't know he still has a lot of damage especially because he's e6 and stuff like that right um but this light cone is only at s1 so it's not that much damage so i could use any of these other ones um, you know, it's either this, um, what's this called? Solitary healing, resolution also works, but again, I haven't experimented too much. I can just, because he's also like really specialized, you only need to use him against physical, so yeah. Then we have Herta, the Pure Fiction OP, she changed everything in Pure Fiction. Um, so she's usually running breakfast, 888 like this. Relics, she's using Jingliu's relics. Uh, just again, it's easier to remember. Uh, you know, she can run rainbow. I have run her on rainbow before, but... It's just... It looks like these pieces are good enough, so... I've never had to change anything. Cool, and then with this crit rate rope. Something like this. And what happens, I run her with Fushuan. And then she gets above the crit threshold for Sal Soto, right? Um, E5, no E6 yet. Bad. This would be a nice damage boost. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy there. Just for pure fiction, mostly. Uh, Welt. E2 Lycom. That's kind of sick. Um... 
to level 70. Uh, Trace is working on it. He's... I kind of like haven't found a use for him yet. So kind of just on the bench right now, basically. And he's running this with this rope. Which basically doesn't really amount to much, but yeah, that's about it. E1, that's something. Uh, don't really know what it does. I haven't read this and it looks... Uh... Okay, more damage, basically. Cool. But yeah, this is definitely the highlight on S2 on his Lycon. Um, so like, you know, I haven't looked at the Acuron leaks. Or the early access videos, which are still leaks, um, in my opinion. I'm gonna look at that, but since I have this, I don't think I'm worried about the Lycom or Lycom, so I should be okay. Cool, but yeah, he's just on the bench right now, basically. Then Himeko again, another pure fiction, uh, clearer traces 888 with her Lycon at 80 as one, and the relics. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could make her look something like this. So let's have a look. Okay, I don't know if I can run the crit rate one. Um, or the crit damage one, but hold on, let me see. Yep, that's that, and then... This rope. Yep. And it's looking something like this. So yeah, I can't run the crit damage chest piece. So I run the crit rate one. Which is fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, she looks something like this. Uh, nothing too crazy, but yeah. But she does get crit rate. So it's not actually too bad, right? It's just the crit damage is kind of lacking. Um, cool, E0, because again, I only got her from the, like, 300 pool thingy, uh, so yeah, well, yeah, just for pure fiction, basically. Yang Ching, he was my first 5-star on this account, and I used them a lot. Straight to 888, level 70, um, that's why I leveled up this Lycon. Stave of the Lightning, no, River Flows in Spring, because I thought it was really good for him. Uh, but then I also had this as well, right? So, but yeah, which is at the beginning of the game, first five star, I leveled him because more DPSs, right? Uh, 888 relics, probably Jingle use would work, right? Uh, E0, but yeah, he's a worse with Jingle Yu, so I don't use him. Green Iphen. Honestly, in my opinion, she's kind of like the worst dot in the game. It it just feels like that anyway. Um, so yeah, I have her on solitary healing usually. You know, I can switch with good night sleep well, eyes of the prey, or them to slide on, but that's what she's holding on to right now. Um, 888. This kind of thing. Again, Pan Cosmic and Prisoner. But. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. E6. Uh, but yeah, she does feel kind of bad. I just use her against Fire Weak enemies in Dot whenever I can. If you saw in MOC, I used her. So yeah. Yukong, decommissioned. Uh -huh. When I used her, I didn't have E6. So she was really clunky to use, so I then I kinda gave up and then once I got E6, I never really got back to work on her. So yeah, too bad. Cause we're missing on this, but like That's fate, I guess. Um that last time. She's decommissioned as well. Um because again, she just have better support. Um you know, I would just like Take someone's relics if I want to use her and then use that. Lycon. I don't even know what Lycon she uses. Like. Yeah. 
this or dance 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 or like a hundred speed basically <laughs> something like that that she gives to the team right i don't know it's e6 so she's she's fine i can use her i just don't then hung Okay, let me let me see what we're cooking with Danhan because I haven't looked at this guy in a long time. So we're cooking this. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So let's see what we're looking at, and then probably just the like cruising the stellar sea icon, or like his own icon. But yeah, since I have this, I'm just gonna use this, and. Yeah, eight 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 for Peace Wind because I was farming for the Hunter set, so then I got these pieces basically for Jing Liu and E six. I think it was like my first E six four star. I remember. Um. Now the story with Dan Hung, it was the first time they increased the difficulty up to twelve. And there was that Mara struck general that's weak to wind. And my Sampo wasn't good enough to break him. Or, you know, so he could stop healing. And then I saw on the internet a run with Dan Hung, where Dan Hung was able to kill the general before he healed. And to be honest, I did do that once, but the thing is, what happened after it wasn't like good enough. So basically, what happened that? I just went back to Dot and was able to win it. Yeah, he, he's surprisingly strong, not gonna lie. Uh, you know, if you have all the like supports, you know, like Bronya, Oranmei, and stuff like that, Fushuan. But yeah, and then these last four stars, they're not built. Built. And I wanna build them. Uh, just because I wanna level everyone. Because why not? I'm like nearly there, right? So I might as well. And after Acheron, I'm gonna skip Aventurine. So, and then I'm still thinking about Robin. I don't know. Depends how the pulls are gonna look like, but yeah. So then I was I was gonna say that I should have enough time to build a bunch of these characters, right? Um. But yeah. Otherwise, you know, what can I say? Happy with the account. It's nothing too crazy. You know, dot will usually look something like this. And then I can have like uh, the dual DPS team if I want. So Fushuan and then Ratio on Topaz. Where's Ratio or Topaz? Um, and then Sparkle. Cool. So there's that whole like follow up dual DPS. I have Jing Liu. So it looks something like this Fushuan. Jing Liu, Bronya, and Pela. Then Mono Quantum, so Fushuan, Sila, Sparkle, and Silver Wolf. Right, something like this. And then what other team could I use? And then Jing Yuan. Like. Yes and no. Um, so because honestly he's like. I don't want to say this but like he's. Too clunky. That I don't even want to like use him necessarily. So I'm going to leave him off for now. So another team that I really like is this. If you've seen my MOC video, I've used this. Something like this. Either like, okay, I'm going to put uh, this because this is why I use an MOC. Something like this. Because yeah, what's happening, so, you know, Black Swan does all her debuffs and stuff. And then Sampo like triggers it because of his...
Yeah, because you can like basically trigger the wind shear that's already on there. And because the Arcana counts as wind shear because of the ultimate, then you know it's a lot of a lot of damage. Uh, so she can he kinda acts like as Kafka, you know, if you don't have Kafka, you know, you can do this. This is legit. If you know you weren't in 1.6 or 1.2, right? So pulling for black swan while not having Kafka is still good in my opinion. You can beat all the content in the game with this team. Especially during week two wind. Well, yeah. So, but it, so, again, that's why I like. I like that I have a bunch of options, right? I have, like, all of these really cool teams that I could use. And more, basically, if I want. You know, Pure Fiction, uh, Himeko, and Herta, OP. They are unstoppable in that. In every single Pure Fiction so far, I've used them. Um, but, yeah. That is about it. Really? So yeah, this is how we're looking now. In uh, 2.1, for Acheron, hopefully you win the 50-50, and we'll see what happens. I'll see you there. Peace.